Sailing for me was a complete career change from teaching, but it was an environment that I found I absolutely loved, being out there with the raw elements. I really feel alive when I'm testing myself and I'm just pushing those boundaries. Dee Kafari grew up as an active person, but there were few signs that later in life she'd go on to achieve the extraordinary. After a career in physical education, Dee came into competitive sailing right at the bottom, working as a preparateur to send someone else around the world. Well, my first big break into serious round-the-world racing was the, as a skipper on the Global Challenge Race. Sir Che Bly's invention following his voyage being the first man to single-handed non-stop go around the world west about, which is against the prevailing winds and currents. And it was during working for him that he suggested I followed in his footsteps. When somebody like that, of that calibre, suggests something to you and believes in you, you start to think it could become a reality and that's what really triggered my setting off on the Aviva Challenge. Dee's dream was to become the first woman to sail solo and non-stop around the planet, west to east. This was a mighty undertaking, a true test of physical and mental stamina and a cast iron judgment of Dee Kafari's determination. Saying goodbye to your family is never easy. But once I got into the sailing and I was comfortable, the challenges I faced were the stormy weather was incredible. 88 days I spent in the Southern Ocean between Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. When I was there crashing into these relentless storms through the Southern Ocean, the one fear that lurks in the back of your mind is the risk of ice. I spent three days amongst the icebergs and the stress is unbelievable. I had fear for three solid days. She arrived back in Southampton with a new record and a new place in sporting history. The first woman to sail solo and non-stop around the world against the prevailing winds and currents. I came back with the determination that I wanted to circumnavigate the globe, what's considered the right way, sailing with the world's elite sailors. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go and pitch myself at that level and do the ultimate race. The Vendée Globe is both simple and brutal, non-stop, alone, around the world. Held every four years since 1989, some have paid the ultimate price trying. Dee Kafari was taking on another Everest. Again, she was setting off into a personal unknown. The Vendée Globe was a, a world away from what I knew. I had this Formula One of the ocean waves machine to be responsible for was also I was now sailing with the world's best sailors, a level I hadn't really been involved in before. The speeds were incredible, I think my top speed was in excess of 35 knots and I remember having my eyes closed holding on and being scared thinking oh my god, oh my god. That first week in the Southern Ocean I, I was just speechless and scared stiff of what I'd let myself in for but slowly my confidence grew and my confidence grew in my ability to sail the boat and the race got better and better for me towards the end. Completing the Vendée Globe in 2009 was an astonishing achievement in itself. 30 started, just 11 finished. The world-class fleet was savaged from the beginning and Dee's mainsail was shredded by storms in the Southern Ocean. So crossing the finish line off France, Dee Kafari earned the respect of the toughest sailors today. She completed perhaps the hardest ocean race in living memory and earned her place in the history books as the only woman ever to have sailed a non-stop around the world in both directions. But here's the thing that tells us most about Dee's determination. Before she'd even stepped off her battered boat, Dee was fully focused on the next marathon solo Vendée Globe in 2012. If I can keep my fingers crossed and everything works out, I'd love to be back here in four years' time with four years more confidence, four years more experience and be that much more competitive. I've proved I can do it now, so now I've got the, the bug and uh, I'd love to do it again.